may remember back in December of last year when we spoke with downtown officials for the city on improvements they'd like to see in 2024. One of them is parking. WBKO Sarah Phipps joins us now live in studio to tell us what's being done to mitigate the city's parking woes. Sarah, what do you know? Thanks, Ali. Now, odds are if you've been downtown, especially on a weekend, you may have had some difficulties parking. Though Talia Butler, downtown development coordinator for the city, says this isn't a new problem. The, um, the parking conversation has been around since the beginning of Bowling Green's founding, right? So improving upon parking is really a loose interpretation of it. What we're really working on improving is the public parking signage and public parking education and communication piece of it. In fact, Butler said the greater issue with downtown parking is a lack of education on parking restrictions in the area. But the idea is to have all of those signs consistent so that people driving, regardless of whether it's a city or a county, or BGMU lot or whatever will get used to recognizing the same look and the same you know aesthetic of it because if it's not that then it's going to be even more confusing like in the long run. She said she hopes to have the signs up by this spring. Another issue Butler acknowledged for parking downtown is towing troubles, though she stressed downtown developers, the city and the county don't have towing contracts. We don't tow from any of our public parking lots or the structure or our individual street parking. Um, in a couple of rare instances where a car has been left like six months or so, um, we might, but in any typical normal case, no, we do not have any of those. All the towing that's happening right now is in privately owned lots. Butler added that if you feel like you've been unjustly towed to file a formal complaint with police or the city. Every single one of those does get investigated. Our codes enforcement division, um, I think they went through 10,000 complaints citywide around all of last year. So they do go through every single one and the police go to all of them too. And for those who say they've avoided downtown because of the parking troubles, Butler asked you give it a second chance. We're the fastest growing city in Kentucky and um, it's definitely starting to show downtown and we hope that downtown doesn't lose its charm and it's a little bit of a historic uh, aspect of it. That's another reason why the city established the downtown brand that keeps it kind of uh, old but new, a little bit retro and we're really trying to navigate these new waters together. Now we'll have links for that map of downtown parking on our website, WBKO.com. Reporting in studio, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News. Sarah, thank you. Speaking of signage for downtown, at tonight's city commission meeting, commissioners authorized the acceptance of $50,000 from the 2024 GM on Main Street grant program to help fund beautification projects in the area. One of those projects will include two aerial maps at the 7th and 8th Street entry of the parking garage by the Hot Rods Ballpark, showcasing parking options and downtown stores and stops. An official with Bowling Green's own Corvette plant says they're invested in the community and eager to help. So they're more than happy to lean into the community. Our plant is big into volunteerism as well as uh, financial support when we're able to uh, support good activities such as this uh, place making activity in downtown Bowling Green. Project include turning the crosswalks in front of Sky Pack into piano keys, the crosswalk in front of hot rods into baseball bats and vinyl wrapping traffic light cabinets around the city.